I moved to Los Angeles in 1993 to study at uh, Musicians Institute. I came down from Canada and I went to school for about a year and um, graduated and then was sort of cast out into the, the real world. I was, uh, you know, just searching around trying to get gigs and um, it was a little bit challenging for me because coming from Canada we had to have a, a visa. Anyway, times were getting desperate and uh, I was running out of money and I had my truck and my set of drums and my visa was about to expire. I had no more money and I was trying to hustle every gig I could but it was just getting you know to the point where it was desperate. I was like okay I, I may have to go back to Canada my small town and, and get a day job. But uh, there was, a, there was a, a drum competition at the uh, Guitar Center. So I entered in that and I went in the drum off competition and one of the judges happened to be uh, Dean Castanova. At the end of the competition, I walked up to Dean and I was like, hey Dean, man, it's really great to meet you, you know? And I was so nervous, I remember just walking up to him and approaching him. And he's like, hey man, you sound really good. You should give me your number and I'll refer you to some gigs. I was like, uh, okay. So I gave him my number and I was like, yeah, that's going to happen, right? And then it was like two days later, I started getting calls for me to go on auditions. And uh, it was like a, literally within a week, I got a call from Ingve Malmsteen, who needed a drummer. And Dean Castronova recommended me for the gig. And I was like, okay. So I ended up flying out to Miami, and um, it wasn't even really an audition. I just kind of just went there and got the gig, and the next week uh, we were on the road, all because of Dean. And he started referring me to different you know, producers and stuff and started recording. And, um, but that was kind of that was a real changer for me, um, all, all because you know, of Dean really referring me.